in this video I would like to show you whether the GRX RX 812 rear derailleur will be able to work with a 11246 tooth cassette. Hello guys and welcome to the channel. According to Shimano specs, the biggest cassette that the GRX RX812 rear derailleur is able to work with is a 11 to 42 tooth cassette. However, since I'm building a new drivetrain, I decided to conduct a little experiment and what you can see here is an 11 to 46 cassette. And within a moment, we're gonna check whether the GRX rear derailleur will be able to work with this cassette. So the test results are quite positive. Everything seems to be working just fine without any problem. And keep in mind that in this case, the derailleur hasn't been modified in any way. There is no gold link or anything like that. Uh, and the derailleur cage haven't been modified in any way. And also the B-screw is screwed quite a lot but still not all the way in. So I don't expect any problems, uh, in any long-term problems over here too. Now, I should uh, make a few notes here about the whole setup. So the real derailleur is obviously the GRX uh, RX812, which is uh, meant for one by setup and for 11 speed cassettes. Now, in my setup, the cassette is actually 10 speed. It is 1146, but it is a 10 speed cassette. And the reason for it is the brifter. I'm using Tiagra brifters, and my Tiagra brifters work with this derailleur because the pull ratio of the new generations of Tiagra is the same as the pull ratio of uh, 105 and other 11 speed brifters. So it will work just fine. But if this derailleur is able to work with 11 to 46 10 speed cassette, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work with a 11 speed cassette with the same range. Another thing is the is the chain ring. Normally with mm, GRX, uh, GRX crankset, crankset you will get 40 tooth or 42 tooth chain rings. I'm not using the GRX chain ring over here, I'm not using the GRX crank over here because this bike mm, doesn't allow it. This bike has a mountain bike standard of a, of a, of a bottom bracket uh, and I just can't fit the mm, gravel crankset here or road crankset. So in this case, this is a mountain bike crankset and the chain ring is 36 tooth. Uh, why 36? First, because it's the biggest chain ring I can fit to this frame according to specification. 
Um, and the second reason is I want low gearing. I want a lot of low gearing. I have 36, 36 in the front and huge 46 in the rear. And I want this low range for climbing with panniers or climbing with bikepacking bags. Generally speaking, this bike will be used for touring, for bikepacking, for adventure cycling. So what I want is a, a lot of low gears. But if you'd like to uh, use the same combo with a bigger chain ring, again, I don't really see the reason why it wouldn't work. You will probably need a longer, uh, a longer chain. I used uh, 114 links uh, for that drivetrain but uh, also keep in mind that this bike has a very long uh, chain stay so it is chain stay is uh, 455 millimeters long and obviously the longer the stays the longer the chain has to be so there is a chance that actually with a gravel bike you and even with a bigger chain you might don't need uh, to add extra links to a chain but you know, it has to be checked in your case, just on the bike. All right, so I know that this combo works on a bike stand, but one thing that I need to do is to take it on a ride and, you know, do some field testing to verify if it will actually work that well during the actual use of a bike.